Hello Internet, our topic today is on genome-wide association studies. In this video, we will describe what GWAS is, along with current applications. If you are new here, welcome, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Introduction to Genome-Wide Association Studies Genome-Wide Association Studies GWAS, are a powerful tool for identifying genetic variations that are associated with a particular disease or trait. GWAS involves comparing the genomes of individuals with a particular disease or trait to those without it, in order to identify specific variations in the DNA that are more common in the affected individuals. Current GWAS Progress The first GWAS was conducted in 2005, and since then, thousands of studies have been conducted to identify genetic variations associated with a wide range of diseases and traits, including diabetes, cancer, and heart disease. The technology used in GWAS has also been developed to the point where it is possible to scan the entire genome allowing for a more comprehensive search for genetic variations associated with a particular disease or trait. Recent GWAS Applications Genome-wide association studies GWAS, have made significant advances in recent years, allowing researchers to identify genetic variations that are associated with a wide range of diseases and traits. One major advance has been the development of larger and more diverse study populations, which has led to the discovery of more genetic associations. Another advance has been the use of next-generation sequencing technologies, which have greatly increased the resolution of GWAS and allowed for the identification of rare genetic variants. Additionally, the integration of GWAS data with other types of genomic data, such as gene expression data, has enabled a more comprehensive understanding of the genetic basis of diseases and traits. These advances have led to the identification of many new drug targets and potential therapeutic strategies for a wide range of diseases, including cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Ad advantages One of the main advantages of GWAS is that they allow researchers to identify specific genetic variations that are associated with a particular disease or trait, which can help to understand the underlying causes of the disease. This can lead to the development of new treatments, and help to identify individuals who are at high risk of developing a particular disease, so that they can be monitored and treated accordingly. Disease Insights from GWAS GWAS also have the potential to improve our understanding of the genetic basis of complex diseases, which are caused by the interaction of multiple genetic variations and environmental factors. By identifying specific genetic variations associated with a particular disease, researchers can begin to understand how these variations interact with each other and with environmental factors to cause the disease. Genetic Insights from GWAS GWAS also have the potential to improve our understanding of the genetic basis of complex traits, such as intelligence or height. By identifying specific genetic variations associated with a particular trait, researchers can begin to understand how these variations interact with each other and with environmental factors to cause the trait. Limitations However, GWAS also have limitations. The genetic variations identified in GWAS are often located in regions of the genome that do not contain genes, and it is often unclear how these variations affect the disease or trait. Additionally, the genetic variations identified in GWAS only explain a small portion of the overall genetic variation of the trait or disease. Future Research Directions GWAS have been a powerful tool for identifying genetic variations associated with diseases and traits, but there is still much to be learned. In the future, GWAS research is expected to continue expanding the diversity of study populations, which will help to uncover genetic associations that are specific to different ethnic groups. 
This will be important for developing personalized medicine approaches that take into account the unique genetic makeup of individuals. Summary In conclusion, GWAS are a powerful tool for identifying genetic variations associated with a particular disease or trait. They have the potential to improve our understanding of the underlying causes of diseases and traits, and to lead to the development of new treatments. However, it is important to note that GWAS have limitations and the results of GWAS should be interpreted with caution and should be followed by further functional studies. In future, an area of promising research is the integration of GWAS data with other types of genomic data, such as epigenetic data, which will provide a more comprehensive understanding of the genetic basis of diseases and traits. Additionally, researchers are developing new analytical methods that will allow for the identification of functional genetic variants and the prediction of disease risk based on genetic data. With the continued advancement of GWAS technology, researchers are optimistic that new discoveries will be made that will lead to the development of new treatments for a wide range of diseases.